Let's go to Luke chapter 18. Okay, Luke chapter 18. Now notice this. I love this. Or do we love this? I don't know if I love this or not. Now, this is a very misunderstood parable, by the way. Very People struggle with this parable. And you're going to see why. Verse 1. Now he, that's Jesus, was telling them a parable to show them that at all times they ought to pray and not to lose heart. Now, why is he, why, again, let's get this. Why is he giving them this parable? Just to show them that they should be praying all the time. And that they should hang in there. Okay, now, and here it is. Now, why you would you say, why would this do that? Now, look at this parable. There was a certain city, a judge who did not fear God and did not respect men. And there was a widow in that city, and she kept coming to him saying, you know, give me legal protection for my opponent. And for a while he was unwilling, but afterward he said to himself, even though I do not fear God, nor do I respect men, yet because this widow is driving me crazy, new living, I will give her legal protection, lest by continually coming, she just wears me out. Now, is that the parable you would have given to encourage people to, to pray at all times? Here's the first question. Is that God? God saying, I am the unwilling judge. I'm the judge that I don't want to hear you knocking on my door. And let me tell you something. I've spent long enough in ministry to hear so many people say, I don't want to bother God with that. As if God would be distracted by listening to your prayer and then could no longer uh, be involved in something important. God is omnipresent. He is there 100% for you and 100% for me at the same time. Now try to get your head around that. Now, if I, could, if I didn't see two trillion galaxies out there and all the things in creation that I see, I might struggle to believe in that too. If it was just a little wood, a little wood Buddha guy over here or some little stone and thing and I was bowing down and I knew how, I, like the prophet said, I, I used some of it to burn in the wood and cook my meal and then I used the other to build a, a little idol, then I probably would think that's impossible too because where is that God? Well, he's in, he's in my bedroom. I put him in there. But then when I look at creation, it's called what we call general revelation, then I recognize, well, if he can pull that off, he can probably hear my prayers and Chris's prayer at the same time. So don't, don't have the idea, well, I'm not going to bring that forward to him. But that's not what God's saying. Listen, to, let's finish this out. He says, hear what the unrighteous judge said. Now shall not God bring about justice for his elect who cry to him day and night? And will he delay long over him? I tell you that he will bring about justice for them speedily. However, this is the key to this. When the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? What God is really, I think the, the reason Jesus brings this parable up is not because God is like, I don't want to listen. Now you've asked me for too many things this week. No, I'm not going to listen to that. It's not like we are with our kids, you know. And I, I know Tess is here with us today, so I'm sorry, Tess. But, you know, if you, my family's just going to get brought into this thing over the coming years, you know, because that's, that's what I draw from. But we, we all decided to take a little family time yesterday afternoon. We just went down to the mall. Tatum wasn't able to go with us. And Tess has a way, man. She's awesome. I love that little, you know her. She's fiery. If you haven't met her, you will. And Tess is every store. Dad, can we do that? Can we do this? Can we, can we ride on those things? Can we go in there and sit in those massage chairs? Can we, can we do this? Maybe that was me. Uh, can we do this? Can we do that? Can we do this? Can we get this over here? Can we? And I, will, I wonder what it would be like, because what would it be like if I said every time, yes, 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 absolutely yes. Well, we already did a corn dog on a stick, which her mother gave me the stink eye on, but I said yes. And we did uh, uh, not just a little uh, Jamba Juice, but I, I, she said, Dad, what size? I said, large. Make it large. Yeah, get it large. And that was more sugar. Her, her, she was shaking when we went out of there. And, you know, can't we? Well, what? And, and, and I still had to tell her no quite a few times. But God's not like that. God's not like, don't ask me. If I, you know, test, listen, you know, moderate, you know, give, give balance to your requests. That's not what God's getting. That's not what Jesus was trying to tell here. God wants you to speak him about everything all the time. He's not like the unrighteous dad or the unrighteous judge. 
The real point is, will you persevere in prayer? And when Jesus, when I come back, will I find faith on the earth? So now we have our first inextricable link. Prayer and faith are one. Do you want to know how much faith you have? Look at your prayer life. Look at your prayer life. 